So far we've been looking at forms that we would find most often in instrumental music, but as soon as we look at music that has some kind of text, maybe a hymn or a song, we see that composers choose to use other ways of organising their music. And the reason for this is ultimately because they have another element here that wasn't there before. And that is, of course, the text that they're setting. So every song has some words that goes along with it. That's what makes it a song. So composers need to work with that text and work with those words. Uh, and in fact, their music is almost serving as a vehicle to communicate those words. And so it's quite important they get the music to match the words in a really sort of effective way. Now, of course, you know that the language that we find in songs tends to be a little bit different from the everyday language that I'm using now to talk to you and the language we use to, say, order a meal in a restaurant or talk about our favourite TV show. And this type of language is known as poetic language. And in many ways, poetic language starts to treat language a bit more like we would treat music in terms of we think very carefully about things like beat and metre and rhythm. Now you can see that here in this text that I've chosen, it's the British National Anthem, and we can just see how carefully the person that wrote these words has thought about the way they're going to structure the text. Let's just count the syllables as a, as a first thing. So the first line is, God save our gracious Queen, so that's six syllables. And then the next one is, long live our noble Queen, so another six syllables. Then God save the Queen is four. Okay, so we've had a line of six syllables, a line of six syllables, and then a line of four syllables. Let's have a look at the next line. So it says, send her victorious, send her victorious is another six syllables. Happy and glorious is another six syllables. Long to reign over us is another six syllables. And God save the queen again is four. So you'll see that they've thought pretty carefully about how the thing is going to be ordered. Essentially, every line other than God Save the Queen is going to be six syllables, and for the line God Save the Queen, obviously, it's going to be four syllables. And we'll find that pattern continuing. If we look at this second verse, we'll see, O Lord, our God, arise. That's another six syllables. Scatter her enemies, another six syllables, and make them fall four. So it kind of, even though we're not saying God Save the Queen, that same pattern is going to continue. So we're going to have 664. I would be amazed if we didn't have 6664 happening here. Confound their politics, that's another six. Frustrate their knavish tricks, that's another six. On the our hopes we fix, on the our hopes we fix, another six. God Save us all. So each of these verses follows the same pattern, the same rhythm of syllables. And that's quite an important thing, because in a way we can see each of these verses as being kind of essentially based on the same rhythmic structure. And for that reason, we call these things verses or stanzas. And because they're built on the same rhythm or the same structure, we can actually use the same music to set each of these verses. And so what we find in the most simple form of vocal music is this thing called strophic form. And strophic form will be exactly how this text is most traditionally set to music in that we have the same music that represents this first verse or first stanza and then we have the same music again with only very slight embellishments if there are any to set the second verse and then the third verse and there are four five or six verses I can't remember of God Save the Queen but each of those uh, will be set to exactly the same music and in some ways it's a way of bringing a sense of unity because we have in the text a lot of contrast in that the, the text is different in every verse each verse has a slightly different subject and it's talking about a slightly different thing but what we find is when we set the music underneath to be the same it just draws all of those verses together and gives us a nice sort of rounded thing uh, that is a really useful and powerful setting of this verse form text